The Virginia Institute of Marine Science is one of the largest marine research and education centers in the United States. Founded in 1940, VIMS is unique among marine science institutions in its legal mandate to provide research, education, and advisory service to government, citizens, and industry. Funding for VIMS comes from the Commonwealth of Virginia, grants and contracts from federal and state agencies, and private giving. The School of Marine Science SMS at VIMS is the graduate school in marine science for the College of William and Mary. Offering both MS and PhD degrees in marine science, the school has 57 faculty members, an enrollment of 80 to 100 students, and includes four academic departments. VIMS main campus is located in Gloucester Point, Virginia. Topic. Mission VIMS provides research, education, and advisory service in marine science to Virginia, the nation, and the world. VIMS mission is mandated in the Code of Virginia. Topic History VIMS was started by Professor Donald W. Davis as the William and Mary Maritime Laboratory in 1938, which in 1940 was chartered by the Commonwealth as the Virginia Fisheries Laboratory. Its original building, Maury Hall, is named for Virginian Matthew Fontaine Maury, the father of modern oceanography. VIMS Eastern Shore Laboratory, established in 1962 in the seaside village of Wachaprig, jumpstarted Virginia's large hard clam industry. VIMS scientists were leaders in establishing the National Sea Grant and Coastal Zone Management programs in the 1960s. Topic research programs VIMS research spans a broad range of topics. A 2009 analysis of research citations by Thomson Reuters Essential Science Indicators found VIMS among the top 1% of institutions in the fields of plant and animal science and environment and ecology. Early programs included, oyster research in the 1950s that was the seminal work on the ecology of these shellfish, juvenile fish and blue crab surveys in Chesapeake Bay began in 1955, these key fishery management tools continue today, annual shark survey started in 1973, this is now the world's longest running fishery independent shark survey, seagrass restoration efforts that are the most successful in the world, with more than six thousand acres 24 square kilometers restored to coastal bays current active research includes coastal research more than 50 coastal projects on every continent including Antarctica blue crab sustainability oyster restoration and aquaculture bay grasses submerged aquatic vegetation aquatic diseases and immunity fisheries and aquaculture global change marine life and processes observing and modeling computer models using real-time data to help predict storm surge, sediment transport, and food web dynamics. Coastal economies and recreation pollution detection and risk of marine pollutants. Topic Academics VIMS School of Marine Science is one of four graduate and professional schools of William and Mary. The school has 57 faculty members and a student body ranging from 80 to 100 students, approximately half of whom are women. MS and PhD degrees are offered in four major areas, aquatic health sciences, chemicals and biological factors that can deleteriously affect the health of aquatic ecosystems. Biological sciences, biological, physical, and human-induced forces governing marine ecosystems on local and global scales. Fisheries science, investigation of living marine resources, especially finfish and shellfish. Physical sciences, chemical, geological, and physical oceanography. Topic. Facilities and research vessels In addition to specialized facilities at the Eastern Shore Laboratory and Kaufman Aquaculture Center, the main campus includes 
The Seawater Research Laboratory, the largest facility of its kind in the U.S., provides 800 gallons per minute to an acre of research tanks and lab space. The William J. Hargis Junior Library with 88,000 marine science volumes. Visitor Center with aquaria and life-size models shows how VIMS research benefits Chesapeake Bay and the ocean. Nunnally Ichthyology Collection features more than 125,000 specimens in 247 fish families from Chesapeake Bay and surrounding waters. Andrews Hall, a 71,000 square foot, 6,600 square meters building that features 39 laboratories, 25 faculty offices, and space for nearly 100 students, technicians, and visiting scientists. It houses the Aquaculture Genetics and Breeding Technology Center, an autonomous systems laboratory, the Submerged Aquatic Vegetation Program, the Dominion Conference Room, and a distance learning classroom. Chesapeake Bay Hall, a 64,000 square foot, 5,900 square meters facility that houses programs in ecology, ecotoxicology, fishery genetics, immunology, and shellfish pathology. VIMS owns and operates a fleet of 40 research vessels, including many specialized for research in Chesapeake Bay and other coastal areas. Vessels include R. V. Virginia, 93 feet, purpose-built for VIMS in 2018. The Virginia is available for use both by VIMS researchers and external parties. It offers flexibility in science outfitting, rapid turnaround for frequent use, and affordable operation. The vessel is easily adaptable to evolving scientific research areas such as environmental impact studies, the servicing of ocean observing systems, and offshore energy exploration and development surveys. R. V. Bay Eagle 65 feet is outfitted with a wet lab containing a flow-through seawater system. The Bay Eagle also has interchangeable stern decks for versatility when changing from trawling, to dredging, long lining or other applications. R. V. Tidewater 43 feet designed and equipped to perform trawl surveys. Topic faculty and staff Administrative Officers Dr. John Wells, Dean and Director Dr. Mark Luckenbach, Associate Dean of Research and Advisory Services Dr. Linda Schaffner, Associate Dean of Academic Studies Amy Fisher, Executive Director of VIMS Advancement and VIMS Foundation Danica Robinson, Chief Financial Officer Joseph Martinez, Chief Operations Officer Department Chairs Dr. Kim Rees, Aquatic Health Sciences Dr. Deborah Steinberg, Biological Sciences Dr. Mary Fabrizio, Fisheries Science Dr. Carl Friedrichs, Physical Sciences Center Directors Dr. Stan Allen, Aquaculture Genetics and Breeding Technology Center ABC, Dr. Carl Hirschner, Center for Coastal Resources Management CCRM, Dr. William Ray, Chesapeake Bay National Estuarine Research Reserve CBNERR, Dr. Richard Snyder, Eastern Shore Laboratory Dr. David Rudders, Marine Advisory Services Dr. Troy Hartley, Virginia Sea Grant Administrative Directors Gary Anderson, Chief Information Officer and Director of Information Technology and Network Services Betty Barrick, Budget Director, Office of Finance Mark Brabham, Director of Facilities Management Carol Coughlin, Director of the William J. Hargis Library Tom Gross, Director of Safety and Environmental Programs Dr. David Malmquist, Director of News and Media Services Connie Motley, Director of Sponsored Programs A directory of all faculty, staff, and students is available at http colon slash slash www.vims. Edu, About, Directory Topic. Satellite campuses The Eastern Shore Laboratory, located on the Virginia Eastern Shore, serves as both a field station for research and teaching and as a site for resident research in coastal ecology and aquaculture. 
The laboratory is internationally recognized for shellfish research, with important contributions to molluscan ecology and culture. The Kaufman Aquaculture Center is located on a tributary of the Rappahannock River. It serves VIMS Aquaculture Genetics and Breeding Technology Center with quarantine facilities for both native and non-native species. <laughs>